Welcome back to Kata Spots with me, Chris Katas. You know how we do it. We talk about all the games in the World Cup and the roundup of the games that happened today. As you're aware, this is the road to the World Cup Finals. And today, two beautiful games were played in the round of 16. Brazil took on South Korea and Croatia um, took on Japan. First of all, the first game of the day was between Japan and Croatia. What a beautiful game it was. The Japanese gave all their best. Japanese uh, actually got on the score sheet in the first 45 minutes going on with the first half. And the Croatians equalized. The game went on to extra time. Then penalties or spot kicks where the Croatian team won. Courtesy of their keeper, Lokovic. I don't know if I got that name right. It's a little bit job breaking. But I know this Lokovic. <laughs> Please pardon me. But that keeper was amazing. He seemed to read all the minds of the the Japanese. He seemed to know where all the balls were going. And he saved three sport kicks. What a night for that keeper to save three sport kicks to officially give Croatia their ticket to the quarterfinal. But as far as the game went, I kudos to the Japanese teams. The Japanese should be very, very proud of themselves because in this tournament, the Japanese have been giant killers. Spain has fallen to them and Germany has fallen to them. Imagine beating Germany and Spain in the same World Cup and going head on head to Croatia. Croatia just were the uh, runner up for the last World Cup held in um, in Russia. And that team has 85 to 90 percent of that same team to date. So the so Japanese to go head on head with this team shows the Japanese team is a very good team and the future is bright of the Japanese team. Imagine players from the J League slugging it out toe to toe with top European players in top European teams. That just shows that the Japanese are doing something right. They are developing their league and their league is getting to a certain level where they are producing talent that don't need to go to Europe but can compete with top European players. So kudos to the Japanese team. Um, I, I want them to hold their heads high, not to be sad. It was a beautiful ride and a beautiful run. They did the impossible. Nobody believed they were able to do what they did, but they did it. However, Croatia has is now moved on to the next stage, which is quarterfinal. And let us not talk about the team Croatia is going to meet in the quarterfinal, which might not be very easy for the Croatians to play against. It is no one else but the Samba boys. The Samba boys in Brazilian defeated South Korea by four goals to one today in an emphatic way of football. They played the Samba football that we know. Look at the free flow of pass. Look at Vinic. Look at Rikasi. Look at uh, Neymar. Neymar scoring um, a beautiful a penalty kick coming back uh, from not playing in two games. He got a knock on his ankle in the first game and they played against Switzerland. But having reset it, he came back strong in the round of 16 to help his team win the ticket to the quarterfinals. But trust Neymar. Neymar was there to inspire his boys to an emphatic victory over the South Koreans. And the way they did it so effortlessly. And you tell me, and you look at this Brazilian team and think, this team seemed to be destined for this cup. Because the way they play is just reminds me of the beautiful Brazilian team that won the World Cup in the 1970. The likes of Pele, the likes of Tostal. But it just shows that the team have what they call free flow football that they play that is so interesting to watch and you need to see the aggression behind it. You see attackers falling back to join the defense when they take defense under pressure. The Brazilian team seem to have the, the most fierce attack and a very um, solid defense so far in this World Cup. So it's going to be Brazil versus Croatia in the quarterfinals. What a match. And I begin to see why uh, Modric seems to be substituted early in the game because I'm not going to lie, when um, the coach substituted Modric early in the game, the Japanese, I was kind of worried knowing well that that game was going to go to spot kick. 
I was thinking that the Croatians would have needed the expertise, the experience of Luka Modric to be in that PK. But the coach thought otherwise. Obviously, maybe they have planned for the penalty kick. He were prepared and wanted to rest Modric for the real game because Modric has to be Modric the day he plays against the Samba boys because that day is not going to be funny. It's going to be a fight for the semi-finals, which is going to be a do or die. The Brazilians seem to be ready. The Croatians seem to be ready, but it's going to be head on head. Luka Modric or Neymar, who is going to emerge victorious on that beautiful day? That is a question we're going to find out very soon in this World Cup in uh, Qatar 2022. This World Cup has been an amazing World Cup. Goals have been a lot of goals have been scored. The quality of the game has been amazing. You know, it just shows that the beautiful game of soccer is really um, it has evolved to another level, and every team is becoming um, the levels of difference with European teams and other countries. And it's, it, it's, it's cut, the other teams are catching up with the European team because of how they are playing and the quality of football we are seeing. And that is what has made this World Cup very special. That is what has made this World Cup very, very interesting. Thank you for watching today. I'll be back again tomorrow with more games. Morocco, the last surviving African team, will be trying to make history tomorrow by beating Spain if they can. That will be creating history, but nothing is possible. The Moroccans, we know, top their group. So that shows the Moroccans have a very good team. And besides, they seem to have a very good followership in Qatar. The fans seem to be the 12th man behind them. Let us see if this can work against the Spaniards, the Tiki Taka boys, the boys that know how to touch the ball at ease with one, one touch. Tomorrow we'll find out. But above all, thank you for watching. And don't forget, the giveaway you have been waiting is finally here. You have an opportunity to win 5 million naira. All you have to do is follow the instructions by liking these videos, commenting and predict who will win the World Cup Qatar 2022. That's all you have to do. Just keep on predicting, you know, because the winner is going to be selected randomly. So all um participations are going to be recorded and have you're going to have a chance of winning five million naira. so start predicting start predicting and win that money powered by our sponsors above all i'll be back tomorrow i hope you enjoyed the show today i'll be back tomorrow with more action thank you for watching have a great day and bye bye for now